at a Henrico police officer who shot and killed a 20-year-old back in July. Centralica News. Eight News reporter Olivia Jaquith was on scene that day. She joins us live outside Henrico Police Headquarters after speaking with loved ones. Olivia. Well, Eric Deanna, the Valor Awards happen each year to honor first responders who've been nominated for acts of courage. But the family of Malachi Carroll, who was killed by police that day after authorities say he came at them and his grandmother with a knife, says... <laughs> hey, it's so he... just a knife fight, Ock. Exactly, man. Grandma, probably... Grandma should have been able to... To, to um square up with grandma started that shit, man. Grandma was talking greasy online, man. He you know what I'm saying he just he, she started it, he finished it. Police that day after authorities say he came at them and his grandmother with a knife says there's more to this story. I'd rather him face in jail trying to be dead. A father's plea for justice after his 20-year-old son was killed in an officer involved shooting in Highland Springs back in July. I can't replace him. I can't replace that spirit. The officer who fired those fatal Ooh. shots now being honored for her actions. Officer oh, shot up shit. Oh. <laughs> ah! oh, oh, man. Oh, plot twist. Plot twist. Wow. I wasn't seeing that coming, man. Me neither. Wow. Salute to Deluxe 247, the real MVP, a.k.a. Cal Ripken, man. Appreciate you, bro. Damn. So do we march or not? Are we marching? I, I'm confused. I don't know the protocol. Like it, it's it's all so confusing. <laughs> it's the sun man handing her the award. <laughs> right. This is a glitch. All bad. Right. Th th thanks for shooting this brother. Right. And this is a whole black city. I think this is Richmond, right? So this is this is like blackity black black. Black. The Everybody. algorithm is all messed up from this one. Yeah, wow. So, Dad, damn, Dad. I'll bet there wasn't a story about this that mentioned she was a black officer. Oh, nope. No. And did you notice one thing right here? Where's everybody? Where's everybody standing around? He all did by, like, he's literally out there by his mother. Himself. And this happened in July. Yeah. Yeah, BLM let that shit go to fucking answering machine. <laughs> Ain't nobody, like nobody. He don't, you know, usually they have like, you know, a cousin or somebody with the hand on the show. He ain't got nobody. Yeah, I, I don't know. Mama. Yeah, we ain't marching. The father's man. plea for justice after his 20 year old son was killed in an officer involved shooting in Highland Springs back in July. I can't replace him. I can't replace that spirit. The officer who fired those fatal shots now being honored for her actions. Officer Shredda Ford received the Silver Valor Award earlier this month. Police crediting her with saving the lives of family members on scene that day, as well as her fellow responding officers. But Brandon Jordan, who was just across the street the day his son, Malachi Carroll, was killed, says there's more to the story. It's three male, one female. Not one of y'all decided to tase him when he was acting aggressively to bring him down. <laughs> He had a knife. That taser. You, man, <sighs> it, it, it's the simplest concept in the world. You don't use non lethal force against, against lethal, lethal force. It's basic physics. And it takes, I don't know, last a few seconds. You can get right back up. And it don't work a lot of times. At all. Those prongs, if those prongs hit like it's closed and no light is ass up. I don't want to hear that. I, they're trained professionals. <laughs> this is crazy, man. I mean, it's, it's almost as if we're like, we got low IQs or something. I decided to tase him when he was acting aggressively to bring him down. Now I got to go through all this to see a body cam footage. Like, it's bothering me because I had to watch my son get murdered twice. That's why he's been working to get body-worn camera video of what happened from the camera. Why you ain't pull his knife-wielding ass off of Grandma? He was across why the street. Why were you across the street? No bullshit. <laughs> Your son is over there attacking Grandma. And of course, you know, they hell on seniors. Attacking <laughs> Grandma with the motherfucking knife. And your ass is, 
ain't over there to tackle his fucking ass. Right. That's, why no, that's why ain't no family around him trying to kill Big Mama. Yeah. He, was playing, he was he was at the neighbor's house playing spades and shit. Right. This nigga, this nigga was over there trying to like shit. That nigga crazy. He knows so he's gay. He gay exactly. in a conversation. <laughs> yeah, man. She be like, shit. He murdered twice. That's why he's been working to get body-worn camera video of what happened from the county, submitting legal information requests for documents like this one, a largely redacted incident crime report. Back in July, police say Carroll tried to assault an officer and his grandmother with a knife inside this home on Elson Green Court. The domestic incident turned deadly when authorities say Carroll came at them, prompting Officer Ford to fire her weapon. The official cause of death, a gunshot wound to the chest. He's not bulletproof. So you telling me you shot him multiple times, he was still coming at you? Yeah. Yeah, that, that happens. <laughs> I don't see granny bitching. Just saying. Yeah. Was granny the one that called the police on him, though? Yeah, the police had to come there for a reason. The police right. But I'll he's tell not placing it. the blame on her. She's the one that called the cops on him. Yeah. Granny yeah. said good readings. Right. I knew this one wasn't shit from the moment he was born. That's it, right. And Maybe he's no zesty. Hey, I, does that count one for the seniors? Is that a score for the seniors? Uh, yeah, man. We can yeah. see this. Technical, technical point. 8,002. Yeah, man. Salute to the seniors, man. Seniors start to pick up the pace, man, lately this last week. <laughs> Yo, I, if you put a dollar on the seniors, it'll get you a billion. <laughs> 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 and once again, he's not taking responsibility for the fact that why is his son pulling a knife out on his grandmother, on his mother, probably. Yeah, nobody so. wants to address that part. That part just like <laughs> yeah, so he didn't say mental illness. That you normally know, the first thing somebody would say. Yeah, that's the elephant in the room. Like, yeah, what about the part where he pulled the knife on his grandmother? You know? What about it? <laughs> I mean, it probably wasn't his first rodeo, but what did he? Didn't he say there was more to the story? He ain't saying nothing. I don't know. It's, yeah, PCP he, would do it. Oh, could have been. Yeah, it could be hey, PCP. I, I, you forgot to say they didn't have to kill him though, or he didn't have to die or something. Whatever. What is it? Yeah, didn't have to kill him. She might have kicked him out of the house. The official cause oh, of God. death: a gunshot wound to the chest. He's not bulletproof. So you telling me you shot him multiple times? He was still coming at you. Now, I reached out to police for clarification on what Jordan says happened that day. I've also requested access to body-worn camera video, which has been denied, citing first the ongoing investigation and now legal action. Stay with us on air and online as we work to learn more. But for now, live in Henrico County, Olivia Jaquick, 8 News. Wow. Um, See, uh, the, these families, a lot of these families do this on purpose. They file these lawsuits so it keeps the body worn camera from actually being seen by the public. Oh, okay. Because th this guy's GoFundMe will go up because of this news story. Oh, yeah. And then the th by the time people figure it out, they'll be paid. Yeah. 